Hi friends, my name is Shailen and you are watching Learn via eLearn channel. So as you know, we are covering Certified Information Security Manager CISM program and uh, where we are helping candidates who want to appear in CISM certification exam held by ISACA. So basically, uh, we have already started chapter number one, Information Security Governance, uh, where basically we already saw there are two sections section number one and section number two in section number one as we know there are uh, nine tasks and almost 19 knowledge statements which we need to accomplish to uh, achieve that desired state or desired part or the expectation from the management so that we have already covered in our section number one you can go back to the description and there you can find all the links now in this video we are covering section number two where we are covering all the things whatever we have mentioned in terms of a task in terms of a knowledge statement in our state in our section number one in detailed manner okay we are going to explain every single things word by word whatever mentioned in the book in more detailed manner so that you can understand the tips tricks and the uh, in the, the minute things which you are going to which will definitely going to help you when you are actually going to appear for the exam so to begin with i'm going to start from the very first heading which is the introduction and uh, i precisely going to explain this introduction in almost uh, three to four videos if i'm not wrong and uh, because i want to go very slow i do not want to miss any candidate or anyone who are actually seriously want to do this exam but uh, just because of this complexity or any kind of a constraint they may lose their interest okay so i'm going to be very slow in my all upcoming four or five videos but yes if you want to uh, i mean ask any question then definitely you can comment uh, in our comment section and let me know in fact friends i will try to create some separate videos for uh, demand basis i mean i used to do in, a, in, a, in, in other programs as well so like that you can whatsapp me you can message me you can mail me and i will create a separate videos for you so anyway uh, without wasting much time let's start our very first heading which is introduction part one okay let's enjoy okay friends so let's get started let me just write first uh, the chapter name uh, okay so it is uh, let me just write chapter one and uh, that is from uh, c i s m book and the chapter name is information security governance a n c e okay so uh, we have already seen section number one in our earlier chapters in our earlier uh, videos so today we are going to cover section two and we'll start with 1.0 heading which is introduction so it is saying that as a part of securing or adequate protection of any information asset information assets for example this is some asset which is having some information and you want to protect it based on their ever-growing challenges there are day-to-day -day many challenges we are having like hackers or any kind of uh, uh, malware attacks or something we need to have one thing which is called as an information security strategy okay so he's saying for the information security to effectively address the ever-growing challenges of providing adequate protection for information asset and information security strategy 
is essential okay and this strategy what what is this information security this strategy is nothing but is a document is a document and this document contains what this document basically determines okay what first direction and second goal of what of information security program okay security program and who determines this this is determined by your senior management okay so for protection of any kind of information asset from ever going challenges or any type of attacks you must be having information security strategy and that strategy must be documented it should be in some document form and document must contains some kind of a determination some kind of a uh, direction some kind of a goal as a part of information security program and that is uh, that determination or that direction or goals which is something which is shared by or which is given by your senior management okay now this is one thing subsequently in a parallel subsequently you also need to work on effective information security governance as you must know if i am not wrong in our earlier lectures i have clearly mentioned that information security governance and corporate governance should be integrated it's, there should not be any lag or any gaps or any kind of uh, uh challenges while integration otherwise your information security program will definitely failed okay so here subsequently we also need to take care the effective information security governance what is this governance is all about so that is something you need to understand very clearly okay i am explaining here what is governance here okay so governance is if i say broadly defined as first is rules okay rules for what rules to run the organization okay run the organization and this include was this include policies and standard sorry policies standard and what procedures for what that used to set the direction and control control of what direction and control of what direction and control for the organization's activity <coughs> sorry guys uh, i'm having uh, some throat infection so sometimes my uh voice is not coming clear but anyway please try to manage this so i am saying here for direction and control of what direction control of organizations activity okay so that is something which we are covering as a part of governance in any typical organization okay so this is all about the governance now let's see what are the step or what are the what will be the first step to establish the information security governance or rather i would say information security uh, program okay so the first step the first step to what to establish what information security governance the very first thing is 
सीनियर मैनेजमेंट बेसिकली इन योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सीनियर मैनेजमेंट डिटरमाइंस द आउटकम ओके सो दे आर लुकिंग फॉर सम आउटकम फ्रॉम वेयर इट वॉन्ट फ्रॉम दर इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी प्रोग्राम इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी प्रोग्राम सो बेसिकली योर सीनियर मैनेजमेंट इज लुकिंग फॉर द आउटकम फ्रॉम द इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी प्रोग्राम एंड वॉट विल बी दीज दीज थिंग्स वॉट आर द थिंग्स दे आर लुकिंग फॉर टिपिकल इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी प्रोग्राम्स आउटकम एंड दैट विल बी दीज आउटकम्स आर स्टेटेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ फर्स्ट रिस्क मैनेजमेंट ओके एंड सेकेंड थिंग इज द लेवल ऑफ एक्सेप्टेबल रिस्क ओके दीज आर द टू आउटकम्स और रेदर टू क्राइटेरिया सीनियर मैनेजमेंट बेसिकली लुकिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट इज वॉट आर द things we are covering as a part of a risk management and the level of acceptable risk means what are the things what are the risk your organization can accept or tolerate uh, up to and up to what level okay there are many ways to identify the level of acceptable risk okay and how this is going to be established this is going to be established by set of facilitated meeting okay so there will be a multiple meetings with management and then you will got to know their expectation so facilitated meeting with with whom with senior management and of course business unit leaders business unit leaders bul okay now here comes your security managers crucial roles as well this information whatever the information we are getting here this information security manager then has the information need to develop a set of requirement okay so up to here we know what management or or business unit leader are expecting from your information security program so based on that security manager sets a requirement okay for a of course security program then this is been followed by setting a series of specific objective what are those means to achieve this achieve this requirement what are the objective we need to achieve so that we can say this requirement is satisfied so we need to have a series of specific object that when achieve will be satisfy the requirement okay so here in this video we have saw that what are the a uh, typical things we need to do as a part of establishing of information security governance what are the things we need to do as a part of information security strategy what are the things we need to take care as a part of a risk management facilitating meetings and what are the expectation or what are the outcome we need to consider based on meeting multiples meeting rather with different senior management and business unit leaders and then based on that we identify and we write the set of requirement and to accomplish that requirement we need to create some objective and we need to make sure these objective when achieved 
will satisfy the requirement okay so i think that is uh, uh, i'm done with the first part of this uh, introduction part of course there will be a two or three introduction part more because this is something if uh, you have a clear understanding then definitely is going to help you to understand the entire chapter so i'm going very slowly to explain introduction part okay so just be in touch and uh, just like subscribe or just let me know in your comment section what exactly if anything i'm missing you want to be include in this video okay bye bye and take care and uh, happy learning all the best bye bye